Oh, so I'm playing Battlefield 5. Kane Fulton, he'll be getting an SSD. Yes, Battlefield 5 on the M1 Pro. Righto, tell you there, champs. Now, what is the number one question I get asked for every sort of video I do? Yeah, does it game? Does it game? Well, let's find out. Does this new MacBook Pro game? And as you can see here, I'm actually using the Xbox Series X controller. You can also use the PS5 controller as well. It's really easy to connect. I actually have a video on it. I'll leave a link in the description. It's just basically pairing up your Bluetooth. Now in this video, I will not be comparing this to the Windows laptop. I'm gonna save that for when I get the 16 inch in. That has the, you know, the 32 core GPU and 64 gigs RAM. So I don't wanna do that test twice, but we're gonna test the gaming on this. We're gonna see how much power it draws, whether it gets hot enough for the fans to come on, which by the way, spoiler alert, it doesn't. And you can see here, we're playing Fortnite now. I'm doing over 100 frames per second and this is at epic settings at its native resolution so this is full screen native resolution yeah over 100 frames per second at epic now i do need to talk about the display a little bit all right so the display is 120 hertz and you'll think 120 hertz is great for gaming which it would be and by the way this is the best display i've seen on a laptop without a shadow of a doubt it is amazing when you see hdr content on this and it just ramps up that brightness and just wow it is amazing now it is a 16 by 10 display you can see the notch disappears here even though it is 120 hertz the pixel response isn't that fast so i have a good gaming experience with this but you know it's not like a five millisecond or three millisecond or one millisecond display you know the refresh rate's good but you can see that it does get a bit ghosty um yeah you know it's not too bad i still get a good experience but um yeah it is not like a gaming laptop display so we'll just keep this man walking around now power how much power does it draw now when i was actually in idle so just you know no display on I would get down to nearly three watts sometimes. So three, four watts with no display on and the actual machine was on. So how much the CPU using, I don't know. Uh, with the display on, it would be about 11 watts. So that's full brightness with this display. So maybe the, you know, the display uses about five watts. You know, that's just the estimate. And right now I'm drawing 52 watts from the power brick. So there's 52 watts going through this. Can you hear it? I can't hear it and I don't feel any heat. You know, it's a little bit warm on the keyboard, but I don't really feel it. So that would mean to me that this is using about 45 watts. So 45 watts GPU and CPU together. This is the eight core model, so it's minus two cores. And it also is the 14 core GPU. So it's minus two cores there as well. So maybe if you have the 16 core and the 10 core CPU, maybe it gets hotter the fan comes on and obviously you need a bigger power brick for that so yeah that is what it is anyway let's get into some other games all right so now let's play a bit of city skies i always get requested to play this game so as you can see here we're doing about 40 fps let's get in close to that map there and we'll have a look here yep okay so one thing i have to mention about this display is that the games never look better, right? The display is so good that the games look awesome. We're getting 30 FPS here. Seems nice and smooth. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. Um, 44 FPS. And this is at native resolution at its highest settings there. So you'll be able to play City Skies, no problem. We'll just pan out there a little bit. Just go in a bit there. We'll get the arrow in there. And yeah, you can see. Moving across there, nice and smooth. 40 FPS. Getting just a bit closer here. Um, and we'll just pan across and yeah, 40 FPS we're getting there. So yeah, some good gaming with City Skies. And yeah, never looked better, right? All right, so here's a bit of Rocket League. We'll just drive around there. Whee! And I'm getting over 100 frames per second. This is at 900p because the resolution it was allowing me to do was weird. But that's just is what it is. Um, over 100 frames per second, still haven't heard the fan. It looks awesome, it looks smooth. So it's not like it's the worst ghostiest screen in the world. It's still pretty smooth, I've got to say. It's just if you pan around really quick, you will notice, you know, it's not the fastest response screen out there. But 100 frames per second, you've got to be happy on oh, nose and none go. Woo, yes, I scored. Scored, baby, and yeah. 113 frames per second, 900p. Um, 
high settings so yeah you've got to be happy with that with rocket league and silent too we love it here we are playing tomb raider at 1280p high settings and yeah there's the fps you can see there um yeah it looks amazing you can see i'm off on the angle now because it's a dark scene how is the reflections here we'll get into a bright scene later but you can see there 30 40 fps and it sometimes goes up to 60 depends on the scene so again here are the results 2048 by 1280p 16 by 10 high settings and as you can see there we're getting a fps of 44 so this is really good for a base model i've got to say i'm really happy with that it's very playable so woof now this is civilization 6 and this is probably my most played game no joke so i can see here we're doing nearly 40 fps this is the highest resolution i could select and it's at high settings and we're doing up to 80 fps now oh this thing's flying it's much faster than the m1 that was yeah it would barely get 60 fps so i'm liking this it's good so far we'll see what it says at the end of this benchmark okay now it doesn't tell me fps it tells me frame time <laughs> i don't know what's going on there but anyway we'll get in you know over 60 fps whereas the m1 would struggle to get even 30 sometimes so good performance of this gpu and civilization and i love this game of football manager i play that on the laptop all the time and it's going to be nice and quiet when i do it okay i've been playing games all day on this so far i haven't really stopped keyboards 37 degrees 40 there 40 is the highest temperature it does get a little bit warm underneath now i have not heard the fans at all so far either so we'll just go underneath now underneath it's 40 degrees so yeah nothing to worry about in terms of heat there oh so now we're playing shogun 2 and i have no idea what i'm doing here but i can tell you now we're getting 74 fps oh what's happened it's crashed 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 i think it's just died it has died it's freezing okay so shogun 2 don't know what's going on it has crashed but it was doing 74 frames per second 1600p high I will test this again. Oh, the whole Mac has died. Shogun, do not play it. It'll kill your Mac. Oh, so I'm playing Battlefield 5. Kane Fulton, he'll be getting an SSD. Yes, Battlefield 5 on the M1 Pro. And yes, it is cloud, but still, it's still Battlefield 5. Oh. So here's the deal with Windows Gaming cloud is an option so geforce now or xbox cloud they are definitely an option to play these games especially the more demanding games now i did try in parallels windows gaming i tried actually battlefield what a nightmare oh my god what a nightmare and once i get the 16 inch in i'll definitely be comparing it to the pc's windows gaming so i'll be using parallels it's not really good i gotta tell you it's a big haircut and it's a nightmare to set up and it's just yeah it's not a great gaming experience so maybe if you want the triple a titles cloud gaming is the way to go this is xbox cloud by the way and yeah it seems nice and smooth the graphics are all right and i want to try ge force now as well you can get rtx 3080 on that one so i am using a controller here as you can see right i'm using a controller so stay tuned for my windows gaming review once the 16 big boy comes in with a 32 core gpu but anyway Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Tally ho. Oh yes! Cloud forever!